What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I wanted to give a shout out to Chris over on Facebook, who actually messaged me this uh, or commented this on a video. Because if you recall earlier in the year, I think in like March, maybe, maybe the May time frame. Actually, no, I think it was March. We got the announcement that the DLC, the Minecraft, was going to get a Dungeons and Dragons like crossover DLC, and I was pretty sure it was slated for like early summer release, and then it just sort of disappeared and nobody heard anything about it. I actually forgot that it was even a thing until some people brought it up in comments on other videos. But yeah, apparently there's a Polygon article that came out earlier today, or I guess on Friday, and it actually talks about the release date, which is actually apparently like next week. So let's go ahead and take a look at the article. By the way, if you like this kind of news coverage or any of the other kind of coverage that I do here on the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a small click for you and it helps me out. Plus, I love seeing that number go up. Uh, anyway, so here it is. Dungeons & Dragons DLC comes to Minecraft, uh, or Dungeons & Dragons, sorry, comes to Minecraft in new DLC. A special new batch of Minecraft DLC will arrive at the perfect time for those eagerly supporting. So I'm wondering if they delayed it to wait for the Baldur's Gate launch or not. But in, anyway, um, Minecraft Dungeons & Dragons DLC is a story-driven action adventure that merges the world of D&D with the iconic blocks of Minecraft. Not only does the DLC include locations and monsters from the primary 5th edition setting The Forgotten Realms, but it also introduces a whole range of role-playing mechanics, a class system, stats, and dice-based combat in order to truly capture the D&D feeling for Minecraft. You have some pillars of D&D, which are combat, exploration, and roleplay. Uh, so it was about uh, trying to hit all these pillars in a way that is satisfactory and feels D&D. We can see this here. This goblin says, stop, Lira will kill you, and you have attack, insight, intimidate, or persuade. The new module includes all new interface with a quest log uh, alongside a specialized inventory and glossary screens. Additionally, the DLC boasts an impressive amount of voiceover, interesting, more than any other licensed pack, and also integrate, integrates a more complex soundtrack than typical Minecraft with music that triggers based on location and combat. It all goes to further the DLC story while it follows the players uh, uh, on an unlikely adventure. Their mind gets merged with that of a golden dragon, so they're sharing the same body. That creates a lot of banter, conflict. The dragon wouldn't want to be in a human body. The beginning is like a buddy comedy movie. You go through adversity, you become friends, you create some bonds. While the DLC includes a lot of D&D specific elements like Magic Missile, Beholders, locations like Candlekeep, Lindsay clarified that it's not a straight up D&D simulator. The framework is still very much Minecraft, even if it looks more action -orient or action RPG focused than the vanilla experience. He added that those looking for a direct simulator should play Baldur's Gate 3 instead. It's accurate. Uh, still, the D&D Minecraft fusion makes sense, and it's one Lindsay says he's been looking forward to for a long time. After all, a fundamental part of both Dungeons & Dragons and Minecraft is the boundless possibility of sandbox setting. Wizards of the Coast has been incredibly accommodating and flexible, said Lindsay. They said, imagine this is a playground, which is similar to what we do in Minecraft. Imagine this is a playground. As long as you don't go around breaking toys and injuring other kids or yourself, it's fair game. They were not afraid of our team breaking D&D or anything like that. If you break it, we will let it go. But uh, we'll let you know, sorry, but just go ahead. Don't be afraid. The new DLC will be dropping on the Minecraft Marketplace on September 26th. As of me recording this, this is in the early morning hours of September 23rd. So that'll be this coming Tuesday for you to go ahead and check that out. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'll be honest with you. I was a little too old, I think, to be in like the first iteration runs of Minecraft. It was just not something that I was ever really interested into. Uh, so I've never played Minecraft at all in my life. I know of it. <clears throat> I know it exists. I've seen some of the crazy stuff people have been able to do, but I have never played a single second of Minecraft in my entire life. Would you be interested? I'm a little curious, to be honest with you, uh, especially because of this, to see me play through some Minecraft version of the D&D Minecraft. Like, I would literally be downloading Minecraft and the D&D simulator to literally play that, and then I probably wouldn't play it again. But I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Good to see that this is finally making its appearance, uh, and it didn't just kind of get swept away into obscurity. But anyway, again, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'll see you all next time.